As a nation, we Brits love our sport. Millions of us follow the footy, athletics and cricket. Unfortunately, for about 16 million people, including some of our sporting champions, another fever is brewing this summer. Hay fever. The UK has one of the highest prevalence rates for hay fever in the world. Each year, about 25% of the population battle hay fever. And it seems teenagers are even more susceptible, with that figure rising to 38% amongst the younger age group. The biggest culprit appears to be the simple pollen that you find in grass, with 95% of hay fever sufferers allergic to it. So what's it like to suffer from hay fever? Running nose, itchy eyes, and you know, it's quite uncomfortable. Uh, sometimes, like, if you don't take your medicine in time, it kind of like, it's gonna ruin your whole day. From my experience of hay fever, I could barely walk when I had a bad attack. I don't think I'd be able to run without medication. A new report called Hay Fever and Sport predicts that many top athletes taking part in summer tournaments, such as the World Cup or Wimbledon or the London 2012 Olympics, could be seriously affected by hay fever, even to the point of having their medal hopes dashed. But one man who does know the reality is sprinter Marlon Devonish, the European Commonwealth and Olympic gold medalist. Marlon, when did you first realise that you had hay fever and how does it affect your training and performance? I first realised I had hay fever when I was about six or seven years old. Um, I had the runny noses, all the common symptoms, uh, the, the swollen eyes and itchy eyes. Uh, and my chest used to get quite um, heavy as well and, and wheezing. It's not a very thing when you're being, trying to be a sprinter. Did your hay fever add to the stress when you knew that the athlete standing beside you on the start line didn't have hay fever? Definitely. When I've got a runny nose, I'm wanting to sneeze. Some of the drugs I was taking were making me drowsy. So it had a profound effect on my performance. Marlon, what advice would you give to athletes, both professional and amateur, who suffer from hay fever? Uh, what works for me is the K-Allergy Defence, which is great. Two puffs up the nose, it puts a seal on your nose so then you don't have the pollen affecting you and you can get on with your life, and especially your training. Now, Jean Emberling is one of the UK's leading experts in pollen and hay fever. And with so many of our sporting laurels potentially at risk because of hay fever, we asked her how her organisation can help and also what can be done to help British sportsmen and women not just beat the opposition this summer, but beat hay fever as well. How can the report Hay Fever and Sport help our up and coming and professional sports people? The report on hay fever and sport is very comprehensive. It covers the ways in detail that hay fever can affect sports people, their concentration, their vision, their coordination, all sorts of things like that. And it also gives general tips about training to avoid pollen exposure, which can also be useful for the general public because whenever they're out and about if they have hay fever, it's important to know what to avoid and what to do. And also, of course, how to uh, treat those symptoms. So what practical advice would you give hay fever sufferers who are practicing sport? The practical advice I give to people when they're training for sport uh, or competing in sport is first of all to know when the pollen count's going to be high, which days, what time of day. When you are training, if you're doing a sport which includes increased exercise, increased breathing, the more breathing you're going to do, the more pollen you're going to take into your body, the more your reaction's going to be for hay fever. But secondly, of course, is to make sure that you're well prepared to make sure that you have adequate medication and treatment. And here we can certainly recommend Care Allergy Defence, which is an inert cellulose powder. It has no reactions with the body. There are no problems at all with drug testing. So that would be a good thing to uh, consider. So as we've seen, the symptoms of hay fever can impact directly on performance. And in most sports, the exercise involved makes those symptoms worse. So this summer, if you're a sports pro, aspiring to be one, or if you're just one of the many millions of us who suffer from hay fever, don't get caught out with your hay fever remedy. Check out all the great advice on the website, www.allergydefence.co.uk.